A bar in East Lansing facing the Liquor Control Commission today after nearly 200 patrons were diagnosed with COVID-19 last month. And photos of long lines outside the bar went viral. Fox 17's Julie Dunmeyer listened into a hearing with Harper's Brew Pub today and has their response, Julie. Doug and Annie, the questions and fact-finding missions about Harper's went on for more than two hours. It actually just wrapped up. Harper's owner, Trisha and Patrick Riley, answered the Michigan Liquor Control Commissioner's questions about how this happened. So I want to start by showing you this video captured by state news reporter Kashai, Kashi Chubra of the night of Harper's that Harper's opened on June 8th, taken shortly after midnight in the bar on what would be June 9th. You can see groups of people inside in response to this video. Harper's told the commission that the executive order did not prevent dancing and didn't clarify the rules on congregate, congregating between tables. Their attorneys say they did follow executive orders in place at the time by requiring employees to wear face masks, but that current orders at that time did not require patrons to wear masks as it now does. They also explained more of what they did that night and what they would have done differently, saying in hindsight they shouldn't have had a DJ or the dance floor and saying they eventually ended up placing tables on the dance floor to try to keep it clear and keep people separate. They also outside went ahead and bolted down tables because people were moving them together outside and the line outside was also an issue. Harper's saying in the future people not complying while waiting to enter their property will not be permitted entrance. Being in a uh, a restaurant and brew pub in a college town, we have a great deal of experience in, shall I say, uh, controlling people who do not want to be, 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 let's say, abide by the rules. So one of the things that we are going to have when we reopen is that everybody who walks through the door is going to get the quote, new normal rules, and it'll be a sheet of paper. And those, what I just talked about, uh, about 143 will be front and center. And it will state that if you don't play by the rules, you will be removed from the premises. We will remove anyone who violates our rules, which happen to be the governor's rules. We did not realize or have an understanding that we could do so back when we opened. We did not find that out until we had a meeting with Linda Vale, who pointed out we had the authority. Also part of the discussion, Ingham County Health Department saying they visited Harper's after the documented issues and saying they've been in communications with Harper's currently with county restrictions as well. They say that they had initially said that they could have 250 people per capacity rules for Harper's. That's what they were allowed to have now. There, that's too many people, according to the Ingham County Health Department. They have a new local executive order that would keep people from having large groups like that. Next steps is to have Harper's prepared with a plan to present to the Ingham County Health Department as well as the Michigan Liquor Control Commission, which Harper's says sit, they are willing to do whatever is necessary to keep people safe. Live in the newsroom, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.